Okay, so I'm not I'm not exactly hearing a beep when I turn on the uh, recording when I hit the record button. So I'm gonna go with my instinct and believe that it's recording right now. I think I'm going too uh, too fast. <laughs> oh, that's a joke, right? I'm on a Honda 919. I'm going too fast. <laughs> Anyways, oh, what a great day. Um, last year when I got the VFR, I did a little initial comparison type deal about the differences or how the VFR felt different from my ZZR600. So I figured why not do the same thing for the 919. Can you believe that I've actually owned three different motorcycles? within the past year. It doesn't seem like that in my head, but when I actually look at it on paper, it's true. I've owned three different motorcycles in the past year, which is... It's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. I better slow down. But, um... But yeah, I got this bike from Maryland, and the ride home was about three hours, I believe. So I got some time to actually learn the bike, feel it, do some quality thinking on this motorcycle to figure out, you know, how it feels, how it differs from my other bike. And um, when I first took it on a test ride around his neighborhood, or his apartment complex, right when I sat on the bike, I was like, whoa, this bike is bolt upright. I am sitting completely straight up. <laughs> Which I kind of knew that, because I, I sat on a 909 before at a dealership. Um, but I guess I forgot. <laughs> so I sat on the bike, I was like, whoa, this is way more upright than I'm used to. But it didn't feel bad, it felt good. I kind of felt like I was on a dirt bike or something. Uh, so I took it around the test ride around the, his uh, apartment, apartment complex and I realized how freaking smooth the motor was and I was loving it. Um, as far as power delivery, uh, the smoothest between the VFR and the 919, they're about the same in the uh, engine compartment which is kind of weird because the VFR is a V4 motor the 919 is an I-4 motor. So it's got different engine layouts, but as far as how smooth, it, it's, um, they're about the same, I guess. You can definitely feel the power on this bike, um, the torque. It kicks in a lot lower than the VFR. And, um, it's, it's pretty nice, actually. So, I mean, as soon as I got on the bike and I started riding the bike home after I purchased it, you know, I was having some fun around town, cracking open the throttle every now and then, just to feel the kick of the power. And it was great. It feels immense compared to the VFR. So at the, at the initial comparison, the bike feels like it has more power than the VFR. Um, the horsepower numbers are about the same, I believe. The torque numbers are a little bit higher on this bike. See my handlebars are shaking a little bit? Oh, they were a second ago. At higher speeds, they shake. I think it's because I tweaked the, the preloads on these and I didn't get them set straight or something so they kind of wobble at higher speeds. I gotta fix that. It's no problem. That's not a 919 faulty thing. That's a, uh, a toast faulty thing. That's my fault. <laughs> that's me not knowing. That's me working on bikes and not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, ooh, they repaved this. It's still pretty dang bumpy. Good job. Anywho's, 
Um, but after owning the bike for a little while, um, and actually really cracking open the throttle to where I'm at redline. Redline, this bike is at 9.5 thousand RPMs. And um, once you actually get up to the higher RPM range, you get kind of feel the different characteristics between the bikes. The VFR, uh, about the higher RPM, that thing really pulls. It's just immense. It feels, even that thing is really, really heavy compared to a sport bike, per se, because it's not a sport bike. Um, even though it's heavier than a bike, that bike, it, if, uh, once it gets to the higher RPM range, it acts like a, an inline four super sport. I think just, there's so much power, it just, it just keeps on accelerating. It's nice. With the 919, it's a little bit different. You can kind of feel a little bit of a flat spot when you get up higher, because really, the bike is, there's no need to go up by the red line on the 919. Because if you look at the dyno charts, it actually goes down a little bit. Because it's not meant for that. It's kind of weird. Um, you can get power commander maps for the bike that you can um, smooth that out so that it actually pulls up into red line. But I like it how it is now because it, um, it has more torque down low and it feels nice. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful bike. Also, what I realized after riding the 919 for a lot longer, you don't want to get your nuts up against the tank. Because <laughs> after a while, when you get off the bike, your manhood will be kind of uh, tingly and numb. Not just your manhood, but your manhood's goodies, too. Power wheelies are so much fun. Man, my next bike, it has to have a, a comparable engine to this bike. It is just an awesome, awesome engine. The smoothness, the power, the torque, the pull, it's just so great. Um, another attribute to the 919, feeling like it uh, has more power than the... Get on your own side. Feeling like it has more power than the VFR is that the bike does weigh less. It um it weighs about 50 pounds lighter than the VFR uh, when it's completely loaded with fuel and all that crap. Um, the bike, the 909 around town feels much more flickable uh, due to the handlebars. You got these handlebars that are higher up, it's easier on, you know, you're not putting as much force on the bars with your wrists and your weight. So it, with the handlebars, it's a lot more flickable around town. The VFR corner is a lot better, but I installed these Renthal, Renthal bars, the Ultra Lows, which kind of widens the bars out a little bit, and it drops them down a little bit. And so now this bike corners pretty well now too. At least it, it's as easy to corner. But definitely still not as good as the uh, VFR, but it's better. But I don't care because I'm not a super sport rider anyways. Um, I think that's it as far as comparing the two. The leg room is about the same between the VFR and the 919, so I was used to that already. And with this, the bar is a little further forward with, um, and a little wider. It feels a little bit more like the VFR, but it's still a lot more comfortable with your wrists. So, that's for around town. And it's got no windscreen. This is my first bike without a full fairing and windscreen and it's summertime I love it I love the no uh, windscreen but I bet you come winter time <laughs> I'll be hurting we'll see I got I got some heated grips to um, that I never installed on the VFR for I'll do it for this bike but yeah it's my initial comparison I guess between the two bikes um, I'm having a blast with this 919 this is such an awesome machine. Such a great bike. Wow, this this video is way too long. Okay, bye bye. See you later. Bye bye.